Hello chess lovers, let's have a look at a game played by Gata Komsky who is 5-time American chess champion and his opponent is Varujan Akopian who is Armenian born American chess grandmaster. The game was played in 2017 at American chess championship in round 2. Komsky started with e4 and Akopian responded with his favorite French defense. He went for e6 d4, d5, knight d2, tarash variation, c5, knight g3, c takes d4, e takes d5, queen takes d5, open system, bishop c4, queen d6, castling, knight c6, rook e1, knight f6, knight b3, attacking the pawn on d4, a6, preparing b5, a4, taking under the control that b5 square, bishop e7, knight takes d4, knight takes d4, knight takes d4, castling, b3, rook d8, bishop b2, protecting the knight on d4, queen c5, queen d3, h6. It seems like e5 is winning a piece, but after bishop a3, queen c7, bishop takes e7, queen takes e7, queen e3, White has a slight advantage. So let's go back. We see h6, h3, queen c7, queen e2, bishop b4, rook e d1, bishop d7, rook d3. White is going to bring its rook on d1 square and also it's possible to bring the rook on g3 in order to attack the black king. But it turns out that white had miscalculated and actually he underestimated this e5 move. Knight goes to f3 and here comes e4 forking the knight and the rook. Kamsky went for bishop takes f6, e takes d3 and here he made a horrible blunder. It was in here that it became obvious that he had miscalculated. He played bishop takes d8, which is losing on the spot. The best move in this position is queen e4. Well, taking on f6 is not possible because you are getting checkmated. After queen g6 check, you can't take because your king is pinned. And after several forced moves, white is checkmating on g5. So after queen e4, the best move for black is bishop c6. White has queen g4 move, bishop f8 protecting the pawn on g7, bishop takes d8, rook takes d8, bishop takes d3. White has an advantage. By the way, after bishop c6, it looks very tempting to play queen g6 attacking the pawn on g7. But it turns out that this move is actually losing. After bishop f8, white can play for example knight e5. Black goes bishop e8, these both pawns are protected. And if knight g4, then here black has a very strong move. You can see that in this position black can't take on g6 because there is a nasty pin. So black simply can take on c4. And if knight takes h6 check, then king h8, queen h5, queen e6, knight takes f7, king g8, and this is a very simple win by black. So let's go back. After e takes d3, as I have already mentioned, Kamsky blundered by playing bishop takes d8. And here, Akopian played a move after which... Komsky resigned. Can you find that move? That move is queen takes c4. After thinking for a few seconds, Komsky just turned red and it became obvious that this horrible blunder was a huge blow for him. And after coming back from that knockout, he just resigned. For example, Let's see why did he resign. For example, if b takes c4, then black is simply taking on e2. Now your bishop on d8 is hanging. If bishop b6, then bishop c3 attacking the rook on a1. And also, 
this pawn already is hanging. If you move your rook, this pawn is hanging. So it's very difficult to play with the white pieces. Actually, this is losing for white. Look at this strong pawn on e2. And that's why in this position, after taking on c4, Komsky resigned. Your comments please and thanks for watching. Good luck.